My name is Adam Ross from South Florida, the head coach of the USA Select Team. I'm on our way to our first practice, Basketball City. Let's go. My name is BJ Eskim and I play the USA Select. Um, I'm originally from Bimini, Bahamas, small island, 50 miles off of Florida. Um, I grew up there my whole life. Um, moved to Florida when I was uh, like three years ago, like 2020 during COVID. Uh, you know, my whole family back home in the Bahamas, you know, I'm just out here trying to make a way for them. Well, now it's true. I mean, we, we call BJ JR because just like JR Smith, he's never got a shirt on. Hotel lobbies, locker rooms, practice, the players lounge. DJ never wears a shirt, and when you ask him why he never has a shirt on, he usually responds with, yo, chill out, or don't ask questions. My name is Spencer Pickering, and I'm 3SSB manager. And the first night in New York City, we went to a pretty nice dinner, and everybody's coming in. We got 20 boys, we got 20 girls. Everybody's wearing the new clothes they got, the new chapter collection, and here comes VJ in full J.R. Smith coming in in a tank top to sit down in the basement of this private room uh, dinner. Welcome to Venice, Italy. Local time is 9.32 a.m. We will be taxing for the next few minutes. Please remain seated with your seatbelt secure until the aircraft has come to a complete stop at the gate. My name is Levante Doherty. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I'm a 3SSB manager. Growing up in Chicago, obviously it's a lot of stuff going on. So uh, as far as violence and stuff like that, so basketball was a safe haven for me to be able to uh, grow as a young man and keep me busy and to uh, look forward to some, you know, practicing and working out and working hard to be one of the top players in the state. The last 12 games, Doherty in transition. Doherty head fake on Perry. <laughs> I like to call VJ the lion because he's just all around and just super aggressive and he, it is, it's super funny how he just walks around with no shirt. And uh, I honestly never really seen, a, a, met a guy just like him. Like he's an amazing, uh, amazing guy. This man coming to the gym with no shirt on again. VJ, what's your shirt? To become a professional, I think you have to have amazing discipline. You have to decide what you want to do. And just continue to put that time in and that work. And you have to learn how to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations. And once you master that, I think you can uh, go as far, as far as you want with this basketball stuff. I listen to Adele, you know, like sometimes before games or after games, but um, how I prepare it, I just sleep. I took a nap before, get my mind right, focus on the game, focus on what I need to do to win, focus on how to be a leader towards the team. how to communicate better with my teammates, um, you know. But during the game, you know, we battle. We battle against Next Gen. It was a great team. Um, we battle going back and forth. We were undersized, but even though they all rebounded us, like, we play hard. Uh, and that's what I respect about my team. We play hard. playing against grown men, I'm gonna be honest with you, big, stronger dude, so they gon' they gonna hit you and don't look for no fouls, but go straight up with them, even though when they wall up, you know you gotta go into the chest or something. Make them feel you, even though if you miss, they would never do it. They would probably never even jump at you again. So that's my approach for sure, just to stay aggressive and all that. Man, first dog, great game, play against the great guys. On to the next man. You know we taking one game at a time. On to the next big Today, we just got that, another win over EuroLeague 1, which was great. Um, I feel like we got momentum going into the next game. EuroLeague 1 was tough um, because we was down like most of the game. We got up like the last minute, um, so that was good. We bought in, everyone's buying in as a team, and no one's jealous of no one, so that's the good part about it, so yeah.
Uh, yeah, BJ. Hey, my guy, appreciate you. Congrats, man. Keep hooping. I'm proud of you. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like seeing, I like seeing the stuff that you do. You know, defense, offense, too. You know what I'm saying? Be a little bit more vocal. Yeah. But uh, man, you got a great future ahead of you. Appreciate you. You're doing a set. I'm gonna play against you in the future, though. Of course. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna bust his ass every day. Hell no. Every time, I, every time we play, you I'm gonna bust your ass. But till then, keep working. Of course, bro. Seriously, you got another year of high school. Yeah. Go to college, do your stuff. Yeah. And have a lot of fun too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm in. All right. Meet you, man. Yes, sir. When I went to Luhai, I started um, to learn from Coach Buck and and Jaden Ross and Jaden Reed and all those how to be a leader. I mean, you know, just to bring the energy every day, just to hold people accountable. No hate towards it, it's just all love. We, you know, we want, we want what's best for our teammates and stuff. So just to encourage each other. Um, I feel like that's the best way to like help a teammate. When they're down, just tell them to stay, keep their head up. They'll be fine and all that, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna be honest, so. There we go, there we go, It's like go. back home, you know, we don't have the, the companies and like the brand, like the social media and all that to even help yourself. You don't have the coaches. So you have a few people that will want to help, but I feel like, I'll be honest with you, like some players back there, like we don't have like the trainers and none of that to like even help us. So like, we got to go down, do it on our own. If you really want it, I mean, you're going to work hard um, no matter the circumstance. So I feel like that's what, it, that's what it is back home for sure. How it feels? What is it like? Um, It's great, I'll be honest. It's, it's great doing that. Um, you know, in a camp full of outstanding players um, all over, all, all over the six teams. You got outstanding players. I mean, they was chosen to be here for a reason. But to win MVP, it means a lot, man. It means a lot, especially being a young kid, playing against older men, man. You know, it's, it's a lot. But, um, you know, I, I'm going to see them a lot more. Not the exact people, but people like them. So it means a lot. To be honest, it was great. Um, the Euro camp was great in general. You know, good people all around, on the court, off the court. So I feel like it was a, it was a great camp, man. I mean, I'll hopefully keep, be back here, but you know, it's not, I don't think it's possible, but and I just want to thank everyone for the deep thank you to do this for holding up the camp, and it was, it was great.